Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 3rd of July edition. We're gonna be talking about new release beauty products, no updates, because there's no updates. And there's not much news happening no, this week. It's not. pretty it's been quiet. slim pickings week. Yeah. Uh, I think last week there was quite a few interesting things that we discussed, yep. so if you, if you missed that, Go check it out. Yes. Um, but this week we're going to run through the new stuff that has cropped up, that's released, that's been shown. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. First up, we've got Charlotte Tilbury. We have the new All uh, Allless. Mm -hmm. Great start, Hayley. <laughs> Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So this is supposed to be, um, I think this, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this can be used as a primer or as a setting spray. Yeah, it's probably like a Max, Mac Fix Plus where they tell you you can use it sort of before and after yeah. and to refresh and to do all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just curious though because this it's supposed to be a setting spray. I love how it says party all night, stay all day. That'd be nice. Um, Ew, that's like <laughs> the oh, next like day. And, and the next day. <laughs> yeah. Should be the that's other way what, around. Yeah, yeah. Stay, stay all day, all day party, party all night. All night. Yeah. That sounds nicer. Yeah. Um, but it does have smoothing, poor blurring effects, um, and high performance formula, weightless veil of hydrating goodness, flawless looking finish, no melting, no fading, no creasing. So it says it's got ingredients from smoothing aloe vera to hydrating Japanese green tea to aromatic resin. Uh, it's got a Delicate, uplifting, fresh floral scent. Ugh, that would make me want to gag. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so, but it sounds very hydrating, which doesn't really go along with setting. Setting. No. So hydrating and setting sprays, like finishing sprays and, and setting sprays are very different things. Mm. Setting sprays are designed to lock in and they're like the hair sprays of yeah, the makeup yeah. world that make your makeup not budge. And they're generally pretty stinky and they don't really have yeah. like great ingredients in it. Hydrating sprays generally give a nice look to the skin, but they don't add longevity. No. So if this does both, which I I don't I've never like, seen one that does both. I would think that if it's gonna offer longevity for anyone, it's gonna be people with dry skin. Mm -hmm. Because if you have dry skin, your face will still eat your makeup like yeah. it will It'll if sort you've of got oily off. skin. Yeah. 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 So and if you're well hydrated, that can help. But like where it's like smoothing and pore blurring, I'm like, yeah, no, sorry, I don't Too many buy claims. it. Too many claims. It's just that's not going to be a real thing. Can I say though, cheapest Charlotte Tilbury product I ever think I've ever seen. Yep, twenty US dollars. It's just water. Yeah, With aloe. And, and green tea. Resin. <laughs> and green tea. Yes. Put a tea bag in your water. That's right. Spray it on your face. Green tea tea bag. Yeah. Look, if I was placing an order, because this is only yes. 20 US dollars, I would put it in my cart yep, and I would too. test it out because if it is a hydrating, um, if it ma manages to do what it says, yep. it sounds it is, like a miracle worker. Yeah. Because I do have dehydrated but oily skin. So I need makeup to set, but I also need some hydration. So look, if it's delivers what it says, sounds great. Do we believe it? Probably not, Yeah. but I would give it a crack. If yes. you want it, it's available now. It is, yes. 20 US dollars, cheapest Charlotte Tilbury thing I think I've ever seen. Absolutely, I, I reckon that probably is her cheapest product. And that probably fair. indicates the cheapest full quality size of it. Yeah. Because if she can have all those buzzwords and jack up the price, oh, she will do it. Oh yes, it's Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, yeah. she would not hold back. Yeah. All right, the next thing is from ColourPop. So mm. we're starting to see some new ColourPop releases. Yep. Welcome back, back ColourPop. Yes. Uh, so this is the Pretty Fresh Foundation. Now, they did have the Pretty Fresh, it was like the tinted moisturizer. Yeah. Um, so this is the foundation version. So this was available for preview at Ulta on the 28th of June, and it's officially launching Thursday, the 9th of July. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially, it is a medium buildable coverage foundation with a natural finish it's oil free alcohol free fragrance free it is vegan and it's supposed to be hydrating um and it's coming coming in 42 shades which mm. is great we haven't seen swatches of it but we have seen photos of it applied to different models yeah um so you can see that it does have a variety of look the whole top row looks the same let's be real it does same as the second row um, but there are different undertones yeah. and, um, you know, different depths, which is great. So if you liked the 
tinted moisturizer version and wanted a higher coverage version, there we go. We've got a new collaboration between Dominique Cosmetics and JD Wadey 180. Uh, I love saying that, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, so we have the Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist, 32 US dollars. This is an ultra hydrating fine mist that uh, is clinically proven to give 6,000% hydration after 30 days of use. Thanks to Saliporine 8, that's an ingredient, I've not heard of it before. Uh, and it's also infused with willow bark, which helps to calm the skin and restore its natural pH. That's interesting. So essentially they're saying um, 6,000%. Yeah, but that's technically 60 times, which is still a lot. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. But a question, if you have normal skin... yeah. And you put a moisturizer on. Yeah. What percentage increase the, is that? This is what I'm curious about. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm yeah. sure that that's a massive increase from having like n normal bare skin. And often when they do these tests, we've been told that they wipe down your face with alcohol mm. to like it's dry as fuck. Yeah. Um. So I'm just curious what the yeah they, this claim sounds massive. Yeah. But this could just be the equivalent of a spray moisturizer. It could. It could. Because we don't know what percentage increase the, the uh, moisturizer with, gives you or yeah. even hyaluronic acid. Well, that's right. The problem with making claims like this is um, show me your clinical, like, your... Or like, your comparison. Yeah. But I they, they don't want to do that because no. then it shows that it's not that impressive. It's exactly. sort of similar when um, I think just Philadelphia cheese, you know how it says that it's like certain percent uh, less fat oh, and, yeah, then, and yeah, then it has yeah. little asterisks and it's like, then butter. <laughs> And you're like, well, why are you comparing a cheese spread to, to butter? <laughs> like, that's fucking stupid. So, you know, this could be a similar thing. That Yeah, Maybe exactly. hyaluronic acid increases it even more. We have no idea. Well, that's right. But yeah. $12 more than Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, so wow. So it's got to be good. Because <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury is luxury. Exactly. For Charlotte Tilbury to be twenty dollars, like Dominic Cosmetics, I'm just like, what is actually in that spray? Water. Like, it's nothing. just water There's and a tea bag. Yeah, water and a tea yeah. bag, and it's hydration because it's water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the next item is the Ultra Hydrating Complexion Primer. This is twenty eight US dollars. Um, it, they call it a drink of water for your skin. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, willow bark, and sixty percent water. It's a unique texture that transforms from a cream to water droplet on your complexion, um, immediately blurring over pores, boosting moisture levels and giving skin a fresh, dewy finish. It's infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. They already said that to help the skin retain moisture. You can buy the bundle with a bag for 52 US dollars. That moisturizer is going to be like those Korean ones where it's like, yeah, um, the gel to sort of yeah, um, to, it goes like, like a, a water, water, but then it just leaves like a silicon layer on the skin. Yeah, yeah. Look, this is interesting. Uh, again, if I was sort of, I think because at the moment we're in winter, mm. and since I've got a baby, we have heaters on all the time, yeah. and my skin is like sucked all its moisture out. Mm. So these things, I'm like, okay, if I was placing an order, I'd totally give it a go. And I think skincare, or it's not really skincare, but it's Primer and spray with, with skincare benefits. It's an interesting direction for Dominic Cosmetics to go into because that's you don't usually see that from an influencer brand. No. They stick exclusively to like colour things. Yeah. Um, so it's really interesting to see that they're starting to bring out things that may be a little bit more versatile and beneficial to a wider variety of people. So mm. I'm, I'm keen to see where this goes. Um, but, yeah hydration coming out the wazoo at the moment all right we've got some new lip balms from elf cosmetics these are the ride or die lip balms it's a big claim mm. um and if you're not familiar with the beauty industry ride or die was a term from like five oh years my ago God, i know and it kind of like it died so let's leave it there yeah i know so it's like people used she stopped to... riding it and the horse died I reckon... leave it alone elf yeah Fuck. Jacqueline hill was one that really pushed this Yes, like my yeah. ride or die products, yeah, and then yeah. it was a whole these, these like tags, holy and, grails, yeah. And, and there were so many um, videos that went around like my top ride or die, my yeah. 
Anyway, they're bringing it back. So this is an intense lip balm treatment that gives you the ult ultimate hydrated and plumped lips. 100% vegan and cruelty-free. I love it how they have to specify that, 100%. Yeah. Um, and it's infused with rose oil yeah. and collagen, repairs dry lips, adds a sheer wash of colour. So there's four shades, a clear one, which is Mighty Mint, a sheer red berry, which is Boss Berry, a sheer warm caramel, which is Tough Cookie, and a sheer orange peach, which is Just Peachy. So they're all available now, five US dollars each, I want to know what they smell like. Do they smell like the names? Do they smell like that? Yeah. Because if they do... Is Elf getting expensive? Can I just ask this? I kind of feel like a little bit recently we've been seeing some like things from Elf that the price tag, I'm like, am I just making things up in my head or were things from Elf... Like, like a dollar. Did they used to be a dollar or two dollars? Like, they did. I don't, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But right? I think all... They did. But I think they always had a... A base range like a of budget crappy, range. yeah, like crappy right. shit. Okay, and then they had not crappy shit, but like <laughs> dollar things, and dollar. then they had a slightly <laughs> elevated one that was a little bit more expensive. Okay, right. They, the tubes make these look like are they metal tubes? No, they're plastic no, tubes. They're definitely plastic because the the yeah. little nozzles. But it looks they look higher end. They do, except a bit. for the elf yeah. logo on it because yeah. they need to update that logo. Yeah, that logo is yeah as but think, old as the term "ride or die." <laughs> <laughs> You're showing your age, Elf. Yeah. Um, but I think these actually, if you took away Elf, these look they like look Bite right. Beauty or something. Yeah, they do actually. Um, and they, I like the colours. I would totally go the nude and the clear, maybe even the peach. If they were scented, Delicious. I think it'd be worth the five US dollars. Yeah, that's fair. They look pretty big too. All right, fourth ray. We have um, a green juice. <laughs> Yeah. Not really, but this is a biphase serum um, that's just launched. It is the avocado and aloe double shot serum. So it's available now for 14 US dollars. They're saying it gives your skin a super shot of good for you greens. This powerhouse serum does double duty, nourishing and replenishing skin with vitamin rich uh, phytonutrients, avocado, aloe, and cucumber work in harmony, restoring and hydrating skin. Yeah. So the avocado oil is what sits on top. It's rich in antioxidants and essential fatty acids. And then the aloe is on the bottom. I don't know if I've actually used avocado oil on my face before. No, I don't think I have either. I don't know. Is it common in skincare? I don't actually know. I'm sure I've used it in hair products before. Yeah, I have. I just finished one in my project pan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another um, one you're talking I, about. And I love that. That My hair loved that. Okay. So I'm like, buy this and just tip it in my hair. Yes, please. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, avocado oil skin. in skincare isn't super common. Like you think of rose hair, pojoba, yeah. all these other things that are a lot more common, even coconut oil, which... Um, yeah. But yeah. I would look... If it smelled like cucumber, yeah, I wouldn't hate it. I love skincare that smells like cucumber. So do I, to be so fair. So there's something about it that just gives me like nostalgia vibes. And I do vibes. love cucumber juice. Yeah. I just hate it when you, you put other green shit in it and it makes it like spinach and stuff. <laughs> Don't drink it, Hayley. Don't. Put it on your face. Yeah. Put it on your face. So bad. So bad. Anyway, that's available now if you want to pick it up. Mm-hmm. We have a new um, line here from the Inky List. So the Inky List is sort of like, um, it's like a budget skincare line, essentially. Um, and they've started making hair, pro hair care products. So there's the salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment, the caffeine stimulating scalp treatment, peptide volumizing hair treatment, Hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment, the amino acid anti gray scalp treatment. Anti gray? I know. We're... I'll continue and then we can continue. Yeah, yeah good. Uh, chia seed curl defining hair treatment, the shea oil nourishing hair treatment, and the vitamin C brightening hair treatment. They all range in price from £9.99 up to £14.99, so all very affordable. Um, now, when I was looking at this, I thought it was kind of interesting because they're talking about the anti-gray scalp treatment. Mm. And do you remember? Um, yeah. From um, Desium. Brandon from Desium yeah. was saying that they were working on 
uh, something that can reverse grey hairs. Yeah, which this I was thought years was, ago. This was years and years. This and was years. before. This was actually when before we did the makeup breakup. Oh yeah, and this was kind of like. When they launched when in Australia. When they launched. They launched in Australia. They came to Melbourne. We went to a breakfast. We met um, Brandon and Nicola. Yeah. I think her name is. And they were, you know, running us through pretty much their whole range. And then they were talking about some other things that they were, like, working on. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was, thought that was really interesting. Yeah, that was that stood out in my mind as yeah, well. Because yeah. I'm like, we've got hope. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> we're like... Technology, we're, we're know, entering right? our, yeah, yeah. our mid thirties at the right time. What because a time they, to be alive! We're going to reverse our greys. I remember thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, he was talking about that. He recently, I think, went to some conference or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that he was talking about Niod and mm. how Niod is a brand that is um, really innovative with. Uh, what is kind of cutting edge in skincare yeah. science? Yes, yeah. and he was talking about that he just got back from a conference or something, and they were um, talking, talking about, about an yeah. ingredient that reverses grey hair. And he's like, "We're going to jump on this as soon as it becomes available." Yeah. So it's interesting. I wonder if that's just a preventative thing, or if it is one of those that's, reversing I, things. Yeah, I didn't look that far into if it. It's fairly but, cheap. I can't imagine it reversing. Well, that was you know something that I. You know, I wouldn't imagine in like a what was it? I think it was nine ninety nine. Uh, sorry, that's a fourteen ninety nine one. So that was a little bit more expensive. Look, there you go. I'm just waiting for something to come out and be like this reverses grey hair, and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it too. I'm gonna try it I've because got some I fucking grey hair, yeah, so I can test that on. Especially in the most couple of last couple of months, I think I've got extra. Yes. Um, but one thing I find interesting about this hair care range is it sounds so much like skincare it does like hyaluronic acid salicylic acid so these are all things that are sort of treating i guess the scalp a lot more than necessarily the hair um i think salicylic acid on the scalp makes sense does hyaluronic acid in a hair product really do much for your hair i'm just i understand that they sort of hair and skin are very linked yes but if you does it penetrating the hair with skincare ingredients, does it actually do anything, or is it more buzzwords? Well, that's right. I mean, I we have need to no know the six thousand percent increase if Correct. it's actually working. Show me your clinical studies. Show me your studies. increases. Show me your stats that I don't understand. Yes, please. So this anti-gray thing, it contains one percent of proprietary darkenil to reactivate pigment in your follicles and ward against development of greys. So wards against development alongside 1% betaine that nourishes and softens and 1% panthenol to maintain moisture levels so your lengths feel sleek and silky. And apparently it's an overnight formula so you must like... Put in overnight. Oh, get out! Get out! We've got to try this. This overnight formula not only helps to re-empt, but reverse loss of pigment in clinical trials. Show me your clinical trials. I'm going to hold that same energy. Um, It says the proportion of white hair was shown to reduce by as much as 56% when used consistently for four months. Interesting. Interesting, interesting indeed. Well, I I would actually be a good tester for that because i've only got a few gray hairs yeah. but i've got quite dark hair so gray hairs hair stand it's out pretty see, yeah. obviously but also i've got a little cluster I that's just like here too, so here. i've got about like five of them that if yeah. i let them go i just start looking like um mr sheffield from the yeah nanny. yeah 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 wonder if three of them I disappear know. this is interesting isn't it yeah so i actually want to try this so do i so this brand, the skincare is available on ASOS and Sephora yeah, and a whole bunch of website, things. All Cult that Beauty. Stuff. But it looks like the hair care is currently only available at Cult Beauty. It's an exclusive at Cult Beauty for now. Okay, we're ordering some. So afterwards. there we go. I think we we're might giving have it to a crack. Um, grab one of these each and do our little testy Westies. I agree. I don't know if I can. Be- I bet ya. How to use. Use as an overnight treatment. Apply one, two pumps to dry scalp. Leave on overnight. Wash hair as normal. Use every night. Nah. Nah, that's not going to happen. You have to wash your hair every day. Yeah, no. 
No, soz. I'm going to get more grey hairs just from having to wash my I hair know. every day. I can tell you 10 out of 10, I don't actually care about my grey hair that No, much. not that much. <laughs> no. Nah. All right, we've got a new palette from Linda Holberg. So they've added to their Infinity family. So their Infinity palettes, um, they're the sort of multi-purpose palettes that they've had out for. They were their, they were their first palettes. Yes, yeah, and they I think were. they've got two colour variations um, and you can use them as eyeshadows, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, whatever suits. They're applicable everywhere, which to be fair... Most products are like that. Powder products, generally you can use them wherever you want. Yeah. But these clearly have the consistency where they also work on the face. Whereas yes. sometimes you find eyeshadows that are too wet to put on the face. They can look a bit they grip, patchy. Funny. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. these are designed to be multi-purpose. So they've added the Infinity Glam Palette. Mm-hmm. This is already available. Um, and it is pretty much a half shimmer, half matte palette, which mm. I really, I really like that split. It's forty-five US dollars. They're saying this is an everyday, day to night glam palette. Um, so it's eight sh- shadows in pink, coppery, and brown shades uh, in the ultimate mix of mattes, metallic, shimmery, and glittery finishes. It gives you a soft glam or over the top glam look. So you know you can take it quite wearable. Or build it up to be a little bit more dramatic and you can use the products as eyeshadows blush highlighter contour or to fill in your brows okay, um, yeah. and they can also be used either dry or with a damp brush depending on the intensity that you're after so very very multi-purpose they're cruelty free vegan um and yeah i don't know i think this is a nice balance of colors yeah again i like the sort of 50 50 split this is way too pink for me though yeah i but agree i think it's and I don't think this looks too different from her past palettes. No, I like I don't ha- I don't mind the palette. I was going to say I don't hate the palette, but I don't really hate anything. Um, actually, that's a lie. I hate lots of things, but I don't hate this palette. This yeah. palette's fine. Um, I'm a little bit confused because in the like pans, it looks quite pink, and then in the swatches, it barely looks pink. It looks quite orange. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what this is, and I hate that. That is yeah. something I hate when you, I can't, I can't even tell what this is. Yeah. Um, if it's like in the pans, quite pink, definitely not for me. If it's like the swatches, I quite like it. I think I would try it, but also I can see that there's just so many like. This is a bit like a Neapolitan cheek palette. Like there's always shades that I'll never be able to use. Yeah, I think with this one, um, I think these are best designed for maybe even makeup artists. I think so, Um, yeah. You know, when I say that this reminds me a lot of their existing ones they already have in the collection, I think you're very limited with multi-purpose products. Yeah. Because pretty much you can, if you're trying to make them blushes and bronzers or contours as well as eyeshadows, you're pretty much stuck to one color story. Yeah, and Pinks, they need peaches, to be the perfect reds, color for and browns. you. Like, yeah. you know, when you've got like, they're saying, okay, so you can use the, like, use it for brows and bronzing and contouring and blush and all that stuff. If I look at the swatches, the dark brown, I could only use that as an eyeshadow. Um, the red would be too dark as a blush. So again, that would have to be an eyeshadow. The orange I could use as a blush, like, but then you get into the highlighters or the shimmery shades, and again, there's many there that I could only use as an eyeshadow. But I think the benefit of this, to be fair, playing devil's advocate, is that normally when there is a blush palette or a face palette, and it does have, you know, a light blush, dark blush, yeah, a light yeah, yeah. bronzer, a dark bronzer, a light highlighter, a dark highlighter, you literally cannot use the one that doesn't suit you. Whereas yeah. because this is primarily an eyeshadow palette that you can also as a secondary use as a face palette palette, Um, this is something that you can take traveling this is something that like as eyeshadows it looks like a nice balance Um, but then you can dip into like I would pick day as a blush I would pick flare as a contour so I I can see where this is going um, Mm. but I do think because of the multi-purpose element of it um, it really restricts the color story of this range, and that's where I think this is more of your yeah. You're never going to find a artist. blue in there. No, <laughs> or even like you know, it's going to be hard to even get into mauvey colors. Yeah, because um, I, like I'd love to see a more brown, bronzy, 
or even a Movi cooler toned version of this, but you that makes people look dead yeah, and yeah. like ashy and like yeah. crap. So um, they're never really going to delve into that in this range. Mm because it takes away the multi-purpose element so mm. you know this might this is i, I like the other uh, texture split of this a lot better than the yeah. previous palettes though because they were pretty much majority matte with like one shimmer yeah. Yeah, whereas i, I like love the 50 50 50 in there that's yeah good. so but they, they they were like award-winning palettes i'm pretty sure so there we go adding yeah. to the range from L'Oreal, we have two new coconut themed highlighters we have the iconic glow highlighting powder so it's a soft creamy powder highlighter, Prismatic Cocoa Glow. It's a lightweight formula made with natural ingredients such as coconut extract. Yeah, cool. can can I also point out that you um, mispronounced Icoconic? Wait, <laughs> I'll get <laughs> fucked. <laughs> that is the thing that enrages me about this the most. Like, it's supposed to be Iconic Glow Highlighter Palette. And but it actually they're... says on the... Yeah. Packaging Icoconic yeah. Go. So it's fuck. iconic mixed with coconut. And it's the word just makes my brain like it, it fritzes out. It can't handle it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. Yep. I hate lots of things. Um, <laughs> then we have the Glow Monomore Icoconic. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever, like, I will. Always fucking mock you for that, L'Oreal, because this is dumb. Yeah. Uh, glow highlighting drops. So these have ultra fine pearls and luminescent pigments that blend and melt effortlessly into the skin. Um, it's available now in some countries. Yeah. And it will be coming elsewhere. Yeah. Look, I think the color looks gorgeous. Yeah. It's one of those like sort of nude beige to pink ones. Yeah, but it almost looks like, and I'm not sure if this is just the photo because we don't have swatches, but it looks like it's got that sort of white base, but it's got almost like a gold and pink yeah, maybe. iridescence to yeah. them. At least the drops sort of look like that. Um, and to be fair, the peach blush in this range. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I love it. I really but love it. But it's not called Icoconic, like a no. fucking flog. No, but and if the watermelon blush wasn't so pink it's fine yeah. Look, they're allowed to have a pink blush it's they fine are. i would totally try it i really do quite like their face products these days yeah, they are face nice. products. they're actually yeah, quite nice. They're nice um so if i swatch I'm this that one though because it's dumb yeah yeah but if i swatch this and i was like oh my god i'd probably buy it all right we've got something new from makeup geek this is the first release we've seen since they rebranded and in air quotes yeah released the palette yeah, yeah. The, they re yeah they re released a lot of their eyeshadows and yeah. brought out new eyeshadows, and this is a new addition to that range. So this is a soft focus eyeshadow range, um, and these are essentially just pastel colors. So there's mm. mint to be, which is a light sage green. Uh, there's code blue, which is a light ocean blue. Lavender dreams, which is a light soft lilac. Pretty in pink, which is a light cool pink. Cotton candy, which is a light warm pink. Bellini, which is a light sweet apricot, and Peach Smoothie, which is a light soft peach. They're available now on Makeup Geek Cosmetics for five forty nine dollars each. That's US. Um, and they're just pastel eyeshadows mm. being added to the range. Yeah. I get – whenever brands jump on, like, a colour hype train, like – Right now it's pastels. Yeah. But I feel like... Last season was pastels. Yeah, too, yeah, exactly. I actually feel like pastels were kind of touched on last year by a lot of the indie brands. They were. So by the time these brands, the ones that we talk about a lot in beauty news, decide to pick them up, I'm like, hun, I, like, I couldn't actually care any less. Yeah. Like, I think I, that's fair. Yeah. I'm I think, just already over it. Yeah. I think also that... Um, uh, look, I'm going to say this in the hopefully the nicest possible way. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, I know, because people are going to be mad at us yeah. if we say anything bad about True. Makeup Geek. True. But I do think this is more appropriate for a spring release. That's yeah. when all the sort of pastel colours were coming in. But I also feel like this is the most mundane pastels I've seen in a, a while. Like, yeah, it's they've got a, a, bit... a they've got a grass green, they've got a light blue, they've got a pinky lavender they got mm. another pink they got another pink and they got two peaches 
I think of things like um, menagerie cosmetics that have that um, pastel pastel pup, pup yeah. palette. Even though mm-hmm. I don't like that, it's got like a black and a white in it. Yeah, yeah. They have a lot more interesting sort of punchy pastels, and I yeah. sort of feel like if you're going to do pastels these days, give me a nice sort of like baby chick yellow. Give yeah. me a cool like aqua color. I sort of feel like they need to be more unique. These are sort of mundane. Yeah, it's just a bit like it feels a bit like it's wishy washy filler inside. Like we're just like filling spaces. Like when Inglot yeah. releases a bunch of shadows oh, the and they're just like yeah, filling spaces. Yeah, and it's just not. Not doing it, it for it's me. It's not doing it. Like, I just, I'm not excited about it. I'm not even, like, remotely interested in it. Like, I just don't give a shit. All right. Another sort of boring thing. Mm. Uh, Morphe have launched Complexion Pro face, face Palettes. These come in five shade variations. They all feature a matte brightener, a matte contour, two bronzers, two blushes, and two highlighter formulas, mm. um, a creamy powder, and a silk slip topper yeah um so these are essentially eight pan palettes in all different uh colored tones for different skin tones um so there's eight f which is fair play so it's a fair to light skin tone palette there's eight m which is a medium eight t which is a tan eight r which is a rich and eight d which is a deep Mm -hmm. Um, so they're now available for 24 us dollars on the morphe website and look again this is something that i don't think many people many general makeup users need but i do like that they have different colors for different skin tones yeah i think then you can know you can reach for it and use everything if you want so i think that's great isn't a makeup artist brand so they shouldn't be making like palettes for multiple like skin tones yeah morphe is a consumer brand yeah so their products should be targeted at different skin tones when it comes to face palettes like this so yeah it's good that they've done that yeah i agree oh nabla cosmetics i know that i have this collection sitting at home waiting for me and i haven't even seen what it looks like in person yet and i really want to have a look at it Because there's stuff in here that I'm excited about. That's fair. See, this is what happens when you get excited. You actually want to talk about shit. That's true. I want to talk about fucking Morphe and (laughs) Makeup Geek. (laughs) Fucking pastel eyeshadows. It's the M's. It's the curse of the M's. It is. You're all boring. It is. I don't like the M's, but I like the N's. Yeah. All right. So this is the Miami Lights collection from From Nabla. Nabla Cosmetics, in case I missed saying that in my excitement. Um, so it's supposed to be inspired by the glare of neon lights and the hues of a euphoric summer dawn. Sounds. There we go. Sounds big. That's a thing. Now there's a Miami lights glitter palette, 24 euros. This is a four pan glitter palette. It looks like there is a blue, a pinky red, a white iridescent, and maybe like a bronze, bronzy shade. Um, then we have skin bronzing in four shades. This these, is what I'm excited I'm for. I'm so excited this is about what these. I'm, yeah, this, this is what I want. Yeah. So these are 22 euros each. These look like they're skin glazing highlighters, uh, but in a bronzer formula. Yeah. So they brought out a six, was it six highlighters in this range? Uh, eight. Six or eight. Something Whatever it like is, that. there's a quite a few of them yes. and they're beautiful. They so, are so nice. Yeah, I've heard a few people say that they've had issues with applying them. Right. Like they have to apply them wet. Oh, yeah, I did see a few people yeah, mention that. Yeah, a few that. people commented that. I can't relate. Sorry. I can't relate either. I think it has <laughs> to do with the brush you use. Yeah. Because every time I've used it, the highlighters are beautiful. Yeah. Like you actually need a brush that can pick up quite a lot. Yeah. And then you sort of put it on and blend it in and it gives you this beautiful like wet a, look. Kind of like a spongy type yeah. formula. It's interesting. When they, What are those ones where they sort of like call them like a... Oh, baked like a baked gel? jelly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one of those yeah. formulas. So it's not powdery. Yeah. You actually do need to have a fairly dense brush to pick it up. Yeah, it's like a hybrid between a cream and a powder, but it's yeah. not a cream to powder or no. a powder to cream. It is like, it's a formula of its own. Yeah. And if you have experienced it, then you know 
what I'm talking about. Two faced you... highlighters at that formula. Yes. Uh, benefit some of their box blushes at that yes, formula. Yep. yep. Um, so like the Rocketeur and a few others. Yeah. They have that sort of. It's like a firm. Yeah, like a firm gel that yeah. picks up as like a powder. Yeah, it's, there it's are lots of brands that yeah. do them. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's also two new shades of skin glazing, 22 euros. There is a Shine Theory lip gloss in six shades. I'm so, so fucking excited to try this. These are 13 euros 90. I'm excited to try these because they're, oh my God, what's that lip product <gasps> called? The creamy dreamy creamy dreamy liquid oh. lipsticks oh my they are pretty damn good actual makeup god yeah. they are divine i would and say probably out of what i've tried this year which is not oh not too many new new formulas but yeah. what i've tried this year that would be my favorite new lip formula that oh I've tried. Oh my god, it's so good. I have to agree with that actually. Yeah. That formula is outstanding. Yeah. Cuz it's it's kind of like a liquid lipstick, but it has a glossy, hydrating finish, and they just wear so beautifully. Yeah, and I oh remember I wore one. I, this is probably the last time I went to the city, which was probably back in like February or March. Yeah. I remember I wore one, and I even after lunch I was like, "Oh, I'm going to have to touch this up." Yeah, it's a creamy liquid lipstick. Yeah, it stays sort of hydrating like and a, movable on your yeah. lips. It's like a really uh, high. Coverage. coverage lip gloss yeah. kind of yeah yeah and i was like this is gonna have smeared everywhere it's gonna have worn off and i remember checking in the mirror and i'm like huh? holy shit all looks good great i know they wear so, so well good. they're absolutely outstanding creamy dreamy so Love now them. we have the shine theory lip glosses i'm super pumped to try these from the image it does look like there are some glittery ones though yeah not typically my fave but i don't care i actually really enjoy nabla's formula pretty much with everything that I've tried. Mm -hmm. So I am willing to try this out. And they do have one that is like, it looks like just a standard yeah, cream, cream finish. finish. Um, and then we have the Cupid's Arrow number four. So this is an addition to their Cupid's Arrow uh, stylos. Yep. This is in black. It's 1590. I think it's very smart that that is like the next one that they're adding to their repertoire and they're just bringing it out in a collection where it's like, you know, we've got a bunch of things here. It's not like hardcore themed around something no. super, super solid yeah. where it's going to feel out of place. But we've got a black one and we want to release it. So here it is. Yeah, because the last release I did, which had those uh, cutie, what are they called? Cutie? No. Uh, yes, the cutie palettes. Cutie palettes. Yep, yep. Uh, they released almost like a tan brown, a dark brown and a berry. Correct. Yeah. So this is a black that they're adding to the range. Yep. And they're multi-purpose. Yeah. I mean, look, black yeah. you would probably only use around the eyes or if you're doing like artistic stuff, you might use it elsewhere on the face. But you can use the other coloured ones on your lips and stuff like that. So yeah. I can't wait to try this. Yeah, look, this collection, I'm going to be dead honest with you. Bronzers, I'm super excited for. Mm -hmm. I love a good bronzer. I think this formula could be really, really great. Yeah, I'm um, so keen to I'm try I'm glad them. that they're expanding um, the skin glazing shades. So these are technically the highlighters, but because these are in pinky shades, you could also use them as an illuminating blush if you wanted to. Um Lip glosses, look, if there's a nice shade there, I'm totally keen. Glitter palette is a, yeah, it's probably isn't a it? no from me. Yeah. Yeah, that is I, something that, like, I, I understand that it's it's probably the thing that they're going to focus on as being the star of the collection because it's, yeah. like, glitzy and whatever, but it's the thing that I would, I'm like, I, I don't need this in my yeah. life. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because, like, glitter palettes, they divide the beauty community yeah um people either love them and don't care that it's glitter or people are like so anti-glitter yeah i do think it's good that they don't put glitter in their palettes like their standard palettes uh, uh, yeah. because so many people are against them that's true they have some um, really sort of glittery shimmer shades finishes, yeah. but they're not they're not actually pressed glitters. glitter yeah yeah, yeah. Whereas, so it's good that they've got them separate I if you believe, want them here they are yeah. but they're not for everyone these are yeah these are press glitters anyway by the time you watch this it will be available globally 
Yes, that's there true. There you go. All right, Pixie Beauty have launched a new range of skincare. So this is the Clarity range. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually interesting. So it's enriched with a trio of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids. Mm. So they work in synergy to clarify, purify, and balance skin for a clearer, healthier complexion. Um, there's a Clarity Cleanser, 18 US dollars, a Clarity Tonic, um, there's 30 mils, which is 15 US dollars or 250 mils, which is 29 US dollars. Um, the clarity concentrate, which is 24 US dollars and the clarity lotion, which is 24 US dollars. It's now available at Pixie and also target in the mm. US. Um, this interests me. I really do like their toners, like mm. their range of toners. Um, and it's really nice. They've added one with all these acids that do help. Uh, yeah. clear the skin i think i feel like that's an area that they've sort of neglected a little bit mm. um they have had some acid toners before like their glow tonic is the most probably yes, most popular yeah. one yeah but having the trio of acids yeah it's i like the idea of that yeah and i like they've brought out the cleanser the toner the lotion and the concentrate so you literally have a full skincare range of this if you want to try it i think if you had oily skin this would pretty much be like yeah. all you need yeah um and also if you you know are looking at um incorporating stuff into your routine that has anti-aging benefits because um salicylic and lactic acid are both good for breakouts glycolic is too but glycolic is also really good for it's like anti-aging yeah so it's kind of a little bit of an all-rounder with your like sort of baseline acids which yeah. i like i like that as well i i doubt that this is going to be in high quantities Mm. so um when you look at a lot of brands that have these products a lot more expensive it's because they have them in higher quantities but at the same time if you're getting into actives like acids your skin might be it might be better to try something that is more affordable and has lower quantities so it doesn't freak out your skin so this might be a good start low yeah good introductory product also for me i have quite sensitive skin if i have too many acids it actually does flare up my skin so yeah. i have to pull back and either use them very infrequently like mm-hmm. a higher concentration infrequently or a lower concentration so this does interest me yeah it's like something that i'd be yeah keen to try from scott barnes we have two new lip ranges um we've got flossy glossy and lip fetish so flossy glossy are a range of lip glosses they're 26 us dollars each Looks like there are 13 shades available and they range, there's a big nude range. Yeah. Very big nude range. Moves into pink, an orange, a red, and then a, kind of like a berry shade. And then we have the lip fetish mattes. These are 26 US dollars. And again, there are 13 shades. Uh, these ones, again, very like nude and brown heavy which is kind of cool, a couple of pinks and some reds. Yeah, look, I think this is probably a nice range of, like the lip glosses, on the deeper skin, they look gorgeous. Yeah, they do. They like they look, you can see the colour variation, yeah. the tex- texture variation of the lip glosses. I think the liquid lipsticks, the matte liquid lipsticks, I really like that they've padded out the nudes because yeah, yeah. that is what most people reach for. I... I love nude heavy lines. I love nude heavy As because long as I have a couple of reds in there, I love yeah. nude heavy lines. The thing with nudes is often it, it's kind of neglected a little bit. But they're but, chucking a couple. They're like, yeah, oh, we're going to do the like token nudes. a couple of nudes. But, but, but people need to is, pick their right nude. Exactly. Yeah. Your right nude is not going to be like... Kat and I don't wear the same nudes. No. Because they're not the same... Like, they're not the right nudes for our different skin tones. So... I think nude is important. Yes. You need a lot of them in a range for everyone to find their right nude. Yeah. Um, so I kind of like that. I haven't tried any Scott Barnes no. makeup. No. My only uh, thing about this, and I saw a lot of people commenting, was yeah. how sort of tacky the names are. Oh, like The flossy okay. glossy and the oh, lip yeah. fetish mattes, and then they all have sort of um, like booty call and, mm. um, you know. Darling, yeah, triple there, X. There's some. Yeah. Undercover lover. Oh, yeah. Commando. Daddy issues. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think this is sort of 
leaning towards that over sexualized yeah. makeup, which I think I feel like why is it always brands that are run by men? Like Nas do it. I know. It's it's weird. I know. I think it's really weird that they they try to sexualize makeup so much. And I yeah. think look, there are there is a perception, and this is where I think this feeds into this perception that you wear makeup because you want to look sexy. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about how we don't shave our legs. Exactly. And I haven't <laughs> for a really long time. And we're time. wearing a full face of makeup. Exactly. So yeah, I think that's a little bit a little bit tacky, but yeah. the range does look nice. I agree. I'm not really keen on names like this. No. I just don't really see the point. And it feels to me, I look at that and I'm like, you're out of touch. You don't know. You're, you don't, you're trying you don't too hard. actually know very much about women at all, do you? <laughs> true all right sigma are launching new complexion airbrushes these are three lux duo fiber brushes for weightless buildable coverage that will be available individually for 25 us dollars each or you can buy them in a set for 60 dollars from the 30th of june so they'll be out when you're watching this available at sigma beauty i really like the look of the contour and blush brush and also uh, the something buffer. Oh, yeah, the something buffer. Yep, yep. I think they look really nice yeah. for, like, face powder color color products. Interesting. Yeah. Flat kabukis. I don't I – don't, I just use sponges these days. Me too. But – I con- struggle to use um, makeup brushes, like foundation brushes, because my skin's too dry and flaky. So I'm just I, like, give me a sponge. I also find that um, – on the flip side, my oily skin just makes when it you just slides when you, around. When you just slides around, you try to yeah. buff it in, just leaves like streaks. Yeah. So I really do need to like push it in with a sponge. Yeah, yeah. But I do love a good blush contour brush and mm. like a and that buffer one looks really pretty. The thing that I'm probably most excited about this week, but it's not gonna be something that I have access to or mm. am going to plan on buying, but I think it also looks really cool. Um, and these are so basic. So, oh, they're so, so simple. Basic. I love them. Yeah. So Tarte have launched two sets of Juicy Lip Gloss Trios. These are available on QVC uh, and the packs are 35 US dollars each and they're exclusive to QVC, at least right now. Um, so these are um, Maracuja Juicy Lips. They're ultra shiny, like click um lip, like yeah solid lip solid balms lip balm. or, yeah solid tinted balm glosses what yeah they remind <laughs> me of the mark jacobs yes yeah 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 that l- solid lip balm yes l- solid the um, solid lip gloss really shiny lip balms yes, is essentially yeah, what they are yes that's I feel, what they I feel are like no, no what, what the fuck? Fumbly. Anyway, they're lip balms that are super, super shiny. They give you yes. a lip gloss effect is what we're trying to get to. So this is a gloss that melts into your lips for a sensory hit of moisturizing color and a smoother look. Um, so it contains moisturizers to help temporarily plump the appearance of your lips. And they come in two, three packs. So there's Berrylicious that contains strawberry, watermelon, and hibiscus. And mm. there's Soft Pinks that contains clear, rose, and raspberry. So I think these look gorgeous. They do have videos on their Instagram account of people applying them. Yeah. And that really gorgeous wet look shine. I'm mm. like, I want them. If I saw this in Sephora and I could buy them individually, I would buy, yeah. I'd buy them. Or if I could buy it. No, look, the, the problem with trios is you have to like all the shades in the trios. Yeah, that's right. And I want hibiscus from the first one and I want clear from the second one. You know what I'm curious about? What? The swatches on the lighter skin, Mm. something's wrong with them. Something's not right. I don't know what, like they, all of the lips look like they're lined and photoshopped really badly. The one with clear looks. It looks milky, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It looks odd. Like, on the deep skin, I don't think they fucked around with her and they look beautiful. On the light skin, I'm like, what the fuck? Why does this one look like it's got a perfect, like, line around mm. the lip? But, you know, you're right. Clear looks gorgeous on the person with deeper skin. It actually, yeah. looks clear. It looks wet like. It does. It looks gorgeous, but it looks milky and weird on it the light skin. looks like the other skin. person is, like, a corpse. Maybe they are a corpse. Maybe, Maybe they picked a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> who hey, knows people do there there's a yeah there's, um, a, there's a market play, for it. there is there's a market for it yeah so not a very exciting product but no. for some reason i'm like right now 
that's what I want to put on my lips. I would buy hibiscus and clear to try them out, but yeah. I would never buy them. Okay, for starters, we can't. It's on QVC. But why are you selling them in like trios? I actually... But good value though. It is good value, but I kind of like... I'd want to pick three. That's right. And I kind of hate it when they're like, oh, let us pick what fucking colours you like. Yeah. All right, Tom Ford. I think this is the last thing. It is. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. So it provides a matte finish without looking cakey or dry. Soft focus, microsphere powders, blur the look of imperfections and wear extending pigments provide medium to full Buildable coverage. Medium to full buildable coverage. Okay then, cool. Skin still looks and moves like skin and feels smoother over time. Oh, okay, that's some claims. Even after foundation has been removed. So it's launching with 40 shades. Um, sorry, it's launching in 40 shades for 88 US dollars at Tom Ford Beauty and Sephora. So the 40 shades for Tom Ford is a good shade range. Mm. We can see swatches here where there look like there's um, cool, medium and warm. Yeah. So they've got different light, medium, deep in all those different sort of categories, which is great. Yeah. Um, the swatches here on people's faces, I don't think it really gives a good indication of the shades, um, but it gives you an example. Yes. It gives yeah. you an example. I think launching with 40 shades is pretty good, especially for fucking Tom Ford. Yeah. Or like any high-end brand. Yeah, like, high-end makeup brands tend to favour rich white women. Yeah. And it, when they can release different types of deeper shades. Yeah. I like think different undertones. Like look at them. Espresso. Like yeah. that is great for Tom Ford. That, that is like, revolutionary. I feel like we need for pretty much any high-end brand. Yeah. It's Fucking, like, I feel like they've broken ground here. Yeah, I agree. I'm really, like, I'm really impressed with them releasing a 40 color shade range. I think they're trying I, to change. I think they are. I think they're, like, trying to, you know, rather than being like, here's how we're going to change, they're like, we're trying. We're just, we're, like, yeah. here's the thing that we're doing. Is this, is this yeah. right? Like, we're, we're trying. And I, one thing I have to say about this as well, this would have been in production for probably a couple of years now. Probably. Um, yep. So this is not just a knee-jerk reaction to Black Lives Matter movement no. that's happened. I know they Black did, Lives Matter has been going around for a long time, yes. but the the stuff that's happened recently. They did not start making yeah. this foundation like a month and a half no. ago. No, they didn't. No. no. This so, has been in the works for a long time. So they're listening, which um, is good. Something else, 88 US dollars. I saw every single place that I saw this promoted, I saw people being like, $88? Yeah. Fun, it's Tom Ford. Yes, yeah. $88. Yeah. It's like... It's Tom yes, Ford. Yes, it's Tom Ford. Yeah. Yeah, not look, even slightly surprised. If I... Look, this is never going to happen, but if I had... If I burn through all my foundation collection, my yeah. foundation drawer, which yeah. is not going to happen because I've got like 20 foundations... <laughs> Soft matte foundation, matte finish without looking cakey or dry, soft yeah. focus microspheres. It sounds uh, nice. Like, to blur imperfection, to extend the wear, medium to full coverage, buildable coverage. This sounds like a foundation I want to yeah. buy. And sounds nice. Even though it's very expensive, if I had to buy one foundation that was the most perfect foundation and I could find my perfect shade from the 40 shades available, I would buy it. Fine. I would buy it. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. I would buy it. Oh, yeah, I just need to burn you through my graveyard of perfection. Yeah, I need to burn through my graveyard of foundations before I'd give this a crack. Yeah. But I would give it a crack. So, yeah. The time has come to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP, and this week's VIP is Montana. I can't believe we haven't had Montana before. I know. Montana, oh what my are God. we doing with our lives? I thank know. you, Montana, for supporting Beauty News, yep. and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. And shout out to Montana's mum. Yes, hi, Montana's mum. Love Chris. you. <laughs> uh, what's our emoji, Kat? Um, look, it's not topical for the episode but it's no. topical for this week mm. so because of recent drama we haven't talked about in this episode and we're not going to but no. we do pay attention to drama that goes on in the beauty community shane dawson has recently announced that he's exiting the beauty community because <laughs> we're all toxic um but i also don't believe you can exit something that you've never really entered yeah. so uh as a farewell to shane we're going to do a waving goodbye emoji bye bye 
my Shane. See ya. See ya. Um, but I'm going to go on the record and say just because you do a collaboration with a makeup brand doesn't mean no, you're doesn't. in the beauty community. So I was also, don't judge a whole community based on a couple of people. Especially when you're besties with the worst of us. <laughs> Thanks. Just let yeah. out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fun times. Yep. Good times. Great classic hits. 101.1. <laughs> Double T FM. Correct. Aussies will get it. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. All right. See you Bye. guys.